babe, why don't you introduce this episode? Yes, we got a special episode, um, very special episode. Some newlyweds, too. Mm -hmm. You might be the first newlyweds to come on the show. We got uh, uh, some young legends. We got Shantae and her beautiful wife, Marche. What's up, y'all? <laughs> what up, what up? <laughs> Let's what go. How, how long has it been? How long has it been so far? What is it? I, I seen the announcement. Yeah, we was May 20th. We got married. So what's that, like wow. three? Like three know, weeks? I, I thought you don't count after marriage. Oh. <laughs> no, you do count. You gotta remember you gotta every count. day, hour, second. How's the first three weeks of marriage? How has it been? It's been, you know, for me, it's been good. I think, I think the for the most part, we didn't go to the honeymoon yet. Um, mm. and then her sister stayed for a whole week, and Ooh. so extra, yeah, extra. So why sis kinda... do that to y'all? Why she do that? Well, me and my sister, we ain't speaking five years, so it was like a we needed that time. Wow. But it's like, bitch, right now? Can yeah. I say bitch? <laughs> it's the wrong time. <laughs> right after y'all got married, she stayed. Right. Yeah. But it's oh, like, uh -uh. see, I, I would have had a problem girl. with that. I know. I would have been, he would have been like, you always yeah, I, tripping I, on my family. And no. I'd be like, no, but this is inconsiderate. I was gonna oh, say, no, y'all. <laughs> no, nah, yeah, I was gonna but, say, y'all, y'all doing really good. Y'all are the same page. Y'all, 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 y'all the same type well, of time. You know, marriage is compromise. <laughs> <laughs> and I deal with her and her crazy ass family all day long. So my Ooh, family still lives right. like my family food. still lives on the East Coast. So I don't see them. You know what I mean? East so Coast I'm around where? her family all the time. So sometimes he we always sacrifice. He always trying to figure out if you from Jersey. Look no, no, me. I just I'm, I'm from the East Coast. I East Coast know where, where in the East Coast. Coast. We we knew both New York and I'm I'm slash Jersey. I'm I've been at both. I'm from Really? Brooklyn. <laughs> you from which which part of Brooklyn? Because yeah, if y'all New York, y'all York, might as well say yeah, Barrow. We well, I'm from every part of uh, Brooklyn. Yeah. Like I I grew up in Bushwick, Bed Stuy, East New York, Crown Heights, like all of it. You know, I, I feel like does anybody who's born in New York not live everywhere? Like I was right. in Manhattan, Harlem, Brooklyn, uh, the Queens. Bronx. You was in Left Rack City, Queens. I was in Left Rack City. And, you well, know, I yeah. haven't heard of none of this. That, 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 sounds, <laughs> yeah. that sounds serious over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I had my big dog that I should have put outside. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. He, he trying to come in? This well, he's, you know, if he walks one step further, he's going to take this computer down with him. Yeah, uh, yeah. Take, take the that's dog. That's how they be, the disrespectful. Before, before we get into... No, uh, he's about uh, to lay down, boo. No, no, no. See, see, this is the issue. You know, uh, <laughs> she done got this big dog without even, you know. And she don't have a daddy, y'all. It get was down. no mutual, uh -huh. okay, we gonna get this dog. She showed Stop me a picture. It, Kobe. And the next day, the dog get dropped off at the house. He gonna get me in trouble right now. You know. Um, Let me tell you, Charmaine, the door. You, and, hmm? you and me could be best friends. I, I feel that. Because I, I, I the same thing? Listen, <laughs> she met me with two uh -oh. dogs. He got the one cord. was an English bulldog that we we had to give up, and but he stank. He stank. I, so we gave we gave. Okay. Him bulldog. Now we got two dogs. One is a, a golden doodle, but I had her. We got a bird. Um, I wanted. To, I'm trying to sneak wow. a turtle. Okay. Um, so we. Listen, I like I don't that. Like that. I, I don't like oh, that. You don't like the animals. No, the girl. I'm from Brooke. I'm from the concrete jungle. We don't have no fucking animals. Can I curse on here? Yeah, of course. Cursing. Okay. But girl, what, what is a bird and a turtle finna do to you? Okay. They stink. Well, a bird and a turtle. They stink. They stink. Oh, so, the, so what the bird doodles everywhere? The bird shit all oh, over nah, them. Nah, they nah, don't nah. care. That's a college pet. You got Sorry. you get a pet like that for college, See, man. Look, now you gonna look. You you, you instigate, man. I, I get my pet. Yeah, she gonna be it. like, "See, he said it was a college pet. We ain't in college. <laughs> mm -hmm. We grown." <laughs> That's so funny. So we have a labradoodle, and he showed me a labradoodle. I was like, "Ooh, I want it so bad," and I got one. And I guess I got it too fast because he decided mm -hmm. that he was going to name the dog but not be the dog's dad. Well, no, no. She, so... she, act, she act, I, I think she had a, a name Rufus or something like no. that. No. I, I was just uh -huh. trying to help her out. But uh, I... enough about the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> enough about the laugh. Okay, that's your nice. dog. All His good name's day. Kobe. Yes, your dog Kobe. Um, we got we... way worse than Rufus. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> what kind Girl. of plantation are y'all trying to start? <laughs> the, the, Kobe, not Toby. Kobe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but that's crazy. That's crazy that 
I knew she thought I said Toby when she said what type of plantation. <laughs> that's, that's, slave, no. like, what? that's a slave name for real. Toby yeah, for real. That's, that's, oh, that's my God. Shout out to all know. the Tobys out there. Goodness. Shout out um, to all the Tobys. I, I got to know. Um, <laughs> How what was what's the, how did the love story happen? Y'all both from New York? Did y'all did y'all meet in New York? Uh, like like how did it all start? It? Uh, <laughs> I met we met on Tinder. Uh, and how long nice. ago was this? How many years? This, uh, we, we about three years. years. Three years and some change. Um, really? I it was funny on my side. I was in and out of dating people, and then I went on this uh like high like I couldn't get anybody or or people that i was meeting tinder's weird yeah tinder was weird <laughs> yeah. like i went on a few dates but they were so weird and you know I, i'm sober and stuff so you pay attention to everything and and yeah. i just kept not wanting to like I, I just couldn't get with it um i met her i was about to delete my app i met her the day i was about to delete it apparently she was about to delete hers too uh and she said something to me that made me laugh in the in the quick text she something like uh because uh, i'm funny yeah she's very funny she was like <laughs> <laughs> she okay. was like if you want to talk text me uh and then she left the number and i text her right away and we just kind of it just went off from there mm -hmm. that yeah. is wow. so romantic you know <laughs> where where well, was the first date what what, what who, who initiated at a comedy show uh -huh. oh, it was really? uh kept on stage yeah, kept on stage I took it Kev on stage. Okay. Um, I, oh, and, and, and so the crazy thing is, at the time, I was also in this mode of feeling like I wanted to be polygamous. Is that the right word? Mm. Polygamy. What? I, I, I thought I wanted to date multiple chicks, so I was dating these other two girls. And, uh, you know, very, as was I, as she, yeah, mm -hmm. as she was. Can I tell my, oh. I know because oh, so you, you be telling the story and I don't want people to think I was just like, can you come over? Well, can I, like, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> you okay. like, baby, I was polygamous <laughs> too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I was yeah, like, oh, man. Freak on. We got little, two little spins in the story see, right see, now. Well, a little in, tornado. In his, like, perfect world, this story ends well, my, with, like, well, both perfect. parties of people all hooking up. No, okay? come on. <laughs> like, are well, you serious? Yeah, I think I'm not be like a certain time frame, right? <laughs> like, you know, maybe in like 15, 20 years, I'm like, babe, I saw this chick Ethel at the grocery store. <laughs> and I just want to go play bingo with her every Friday. <laughs> but, but let me tell you something, man. I met her with these other two girls, and I love the fact that I dated multiple people when I met her because I got to see how valuable, how how loving, how giving, how amazing she was with these other two girls and oh. i basically stopped uh dating them immediately <laughs> like wait a minute so y'all mm -hmm. you brought her you brought your wife in marche so this is gonna turn into a and it was a thruple no it was a, no, oh, no. No, 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 so, no so what she did let me see. charmaine <laughs> let me tell you the real story right i was about to ask you your side of the story too so don't worry <laughs> no, we want you to have side. a voice in this <laughs> <laughs> the real side was she left my house one night abruptly. And I was like, damn, what she do that for? So it was like, all right, bye. The next morning, I was like, did I do something to you? And she was like, no, I it just. It wasn't the next morning, was it? Yes, it, it was. Wasn't the morning, and you right? said. She looked like she like, remembered things. So you, you she let, let her talk. Exactly. <laughs> and she was like, nah, why morning. you say that? And I said, well, because you just left. And she was like, well, because you know you a good girl and I don't want to do you wrong. I said, D who said I wanted to be Ooh. a good girl? Yeah. Uh, that's what I hey, you know nah, I tell you that if, if a man heard that or <laughs> anybody, you get that wife. is a key to the listen, heart. Okay, that's why she got the ring. So yeah, I was like, <laughs> listen, like, I was like, let's like, just oh. have fun. Let's have fun. Let's date each other. Other people see what it is. Let's be safe and and be responsible. And it is what it is. But she was at my house every night. Well, every night. Uh, yeah. like, you like you ain't dating other people. Stop lying. <laughs> no, no, no. But let me let me tell you something, brother. Let me tell you something, right? I'm listening. I'm this, listening. this is what got me. And 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 sometimes I, I say this a lot, and I, I got to be mindful that you're so much more than this. But I hit a unicorn, and the issue was I was taking these other two girls out while Shay cooks. Not only does she cook, she she's been the first girl I've been with that. Like my uncle Marlon and all of them, they'd be like, my uncle Marlon asked me to ask her to make him some chicken the day after our wedding. 
That's how much. What, 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 was that was she, that a, a, a test a test to see if the chicken hit in or what? No, what was, she what already was, cooked. She already. She look, already he didn't have the chicken already. First okay, off, I yeah, didn't he know. Didn't second off, he had the chicken. Didn't Marlon so, go to Howard, babe? He did. Yeah. So I just we yeah. had to just pause we, we right there. We went to Howard. We went to Howard. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seen him on the yard in the throwback pics. Because hey. <laughs> <laughs> we was like in like what elementary school, high school maybe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. middle school. Yeah. yeah. Maybe middle school. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All no, right. No, so no. he. Okay. So the chicken bomb. So she so, was cooking. So she was cooking. She has her own business. She does. Uh, she's a hairstylist. She also makes her own uh, natural products. And like, no what man. I love about it is oh. that she she made me. Well, I love. <laughs> I, I say this all the time, and people are like, but th- is it good? I said she's been the first girl I've been with because I dated chicks w- that were hairstylists, but she cares and she puts in work and does this stuff. Yeah. Long story short, like I said, she takes care of the home. She does all that stuff, and it made me feel like home wherever she was so i was like man i ain't letting this go Aww. i dropped the chicks quick wow. you sure did she and she told me when she was leaving my house to go break up with him i'm like you better not kiss him you better Ooh. say good night <laughs> right this don't give fun. him no yeah. breakup yeah. like okay. you crossing this line don't know <laughs> put, put it on flowers. you for the last time yeah. <laughs> I, I bought her flower. You know, it's so funny. It, it, this is what's interesting brother i don't know if you have experienced this but <laughs> uh, me, uh, i took her out me, to I took her out to break her part, her heart, uh, you know, nicely. And I said all this stuff about how I didn't want to be with her. And Not me, the girl. A, a, a thing. <laughs> okay, okay. And she still didn't realize that I was breaking up with her. Shantae's no. the worst wow. breaker up, but she brings flowers and take you to a nice restaurant. Like, just red. send me a text message, okay? <laughs> just... So wait, <laughs> yeah, right. Send me a text yeah, I, and I don't respond. I I, honestly, I can't relate to that. I think that was probably the... the uh, uh, that was the hardest thing for me was breaking up with somebody. Like honestly, growing up when I was a lot younger, I would try to fuck up the situation in other ways so Sabotage. you could break up with me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it wasn't like I like broke up with you and, and played you. You know what I mean? So I would kind of it well, was it was dumb, but well, I, I never had the guts to like. That's so messed up. Do that. First yeah. of all, Amateur. I don't like how you said play. Okay, because. I didn't play the girls. They were, I, I've had conversations and I try to get them on the level I was on. Mm-hmm. No, no, it you, was, what you did was mature. That is, that's, that's not, play. so what I, if. That's too damn nice. That's too nice. <laughs> you you send that. a text message and yeah. you say, it's me, not you. And that's it. That's, let's go back to the old school. No, no, no. I think, I think you did, you, you know, you did it respectfully. You did it respectfully. You know what I mean? You cared uh. for their emotions. <laughs> And how they feel, and I would imagine that they really fuck with you too. So shooting a text game, you know they're gonna be depressed for like six months. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, so I, then, I, I get that. And then you turn around and have a whole girlfriend on their ass. It uh-huh. ain't like you. Well, and then got, we got <laughs> engaged in eight months. Okay. Oh. Wow. Well, I well, that just goes to show it was definitely meant to be. You know, mm-hmm. you did the right thing. But can you? put yourself in the other girl's shoes and like uh, how yeah. that how they felt during that time did they ever did anybody ever reach out to you like mm-hmm. hey i know you moved on but i'm mm-hmm. having a really hard time dealing with this mm-hmm. so so funny thing is one of the girls <laughs> that funny? i like <laughs> no, it, it is yeah. because because it's, it's always full cycle there was there was a girl i met and when i when i like somebody i treat them as if i want to date them versus trying to be this player and stuff like that and Mm -hmm. you know treat you now i've dated girls purposely because they were you know hoes or whatever the case may be and i knew i could do what i wanted to do but Mm -hmm. um i've talked to these girls oh one one of the chick to answer your question i was so into her uh but i think it was more just like that sex driven and uh she wasn't giving me a lot of love and Mm. slowly but surely she started coming closer to me especially when i announced her so mm. i wind up getting with her and then she started you know hitting me up uh somebody, popping up at shows yeah, popping up at oh, shows wow. she, like i'm that's not how from brooklyn not, that's how it be and she, she bought her own ticket or she yeah, was asking me for a ticket like i wasn't from brooklyn <laughs> and, she, and, she, <laughs> yeah. and she was sad she was like you know asking me to come over and stuff like that and i was just like wow but uh just to add she was down more, to be the side chick 
Girl, she was down. Ready, she was down, but uh, <laughs> no yeah. panties on. <laughs> yeah, tell, tell and a you. cowboy hat because she's Ooh. come with that cowboy hat. <laughs> really, <laughs> really, she was a her cowgirl. Okay. Oh hell, okay. Listen, no! Man, but wait, I'm in public. Interesting ones okay. in public. Girl. I, I was. I dated this girl that moved into a church house, and we gay as hell. Uh, <laughs> trying to have sex in a house that used to be a church. I, and and on your door is named Christopher. I was like, I can't. I mean, what's the disciples' names? It was one of the disciples. I said, I can't. I can't come in this place and have sex with you. God go strike God me down. Us, but you ain't gonna put me in his house. That's Burn y'all are just so funny. I don't even know if we got through to the good part of the story yet because they're all it's all good. So y'all. <laughs> It said take, it took ten- eight, eight months, eight months to get engaged. So okay. what, what, um, Oh, we were asking questions. Okay. Go ahead. What made you feel like it's, it's the, it's the right time. Like the, let, let's do this. Cause obviously getting married is a huge commitment. Right. You know, I mean, and we know why you feel like she was the right one. So eight months is kind of quick. Eight months is quick, but I, I never wanted to get married before. I've been with somebody for eight years and thought about it, but mm. never had that. Mm. Uh, and I remember being in this uh, hot ass uh, place in Victorville, and I just, I don't, I just felt it. I mean, what we with all the stuff going on in the world right now, and social media, and how women are, and so forth and so on. Uh, if you let something like this pass up, you just dumb. And I just, mm-hmm. I just knew like if I was gonna try it, I'm gonna try it with her. And I, I told her cousin she never had a prom, she never had a. a a prom she loves ballroom dancing so i set up her birthday uh in this prom like setting i had some ballroom dancers come out and wow. we were king and queen and i proposed to her oh my that is dope. gosh it was really <laughs> nice i mean that i knew is so sweet. <laughs> i knew like she Sh- shante loves me like i've never been loved before and I know what I bring to the table, right? I kind of hate that term, but it's relevant right now. But I know what I bring, bring to the, the table. table. You ain't the table. You <laughs> sure? is the table. <laughs> I am the table. <laughs> and I just, I, but I always knew that I was so nurturing and I guess domestic and, and motherly, right? And um, I just never found anybody that made me want to just do all that for them. Um, and she did. She just made me want to, like, I just wanted to feed her and take care of her and just be there. Like, cause she just made me feel safe and just that way. And, and she always, if we went somewhere, you know, she's in the industry. So if we went somewhere and people would look at me like, well, who's this? She never made me feel like I was just her little girlfriend. It was just like, no, this yeah. is my woman. She's here with me. And she, you know, I just, I just, I knew, like she said, I couldn't, I couldn't pass this up because it's, yeah, I know the, the dating pool got pee in it. So I couldn't let. <laughs> oh, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> you was trying to die back in there. The dating pool not only has pee in it, but people are getting peed on. Oh, <laughs> okay. <God>. Real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Real life. And worse. So, yeah. so. Wait, but wait, wait, wait. Before we keep moving on, I feel I bad. A little bit. I feel bad, though. She said she made her want to cook for it and stuff. I, th- I thought about that. I thought you said, said, I was like, Sorry, man, I forget I the like, things, my man. Like, these, these are, these are well, great things. Listen, these are after, this is peace. Listen, after the ring, she been slipping. I mean, you know, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, nah, nah. It's only been three weeks. You gotta get, yeah, yeah, I ain't going to the honeymoon yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, mean, you gotta wait a little bit. Fourth, this is my fourth podcast that I am filming today and I guess who got food in the oven? Oh! Oh, period. This okay. Guess who bought the food? <laughs> well, I ain't gonna lie. He bought the food and... Oh, man. Nah, I, 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 well, I ain't like how you got up in a cab like that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, you wanna show I think you could have made a four, five, five, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, the chicken, five the, the mashed potatoes, the, uh, the gravy. Mm-hmm. You funny, boy. Okay, so look. Yeah. Obviously, y'all, y'all met on Tinder. Which is amazing because it's kind of like you're, you're expecting, you don't know what the fuck is going to happen, but you got this spark. At what point did you realize that, you know, she's from uh, one of the most legendary right. <laughs> comedic families of all time? Like, where, where, Yo, the, where did that how did that in? click is in? That like, like, hold on. Gender? Like, I'm a Wayne. I, I don't know if the Wayne, I don't know to pick the Wayne or the, the Jackson family, like, I'm, I'm 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 more torn on the Wayans family being like the most legendary 
family. And relatable. It's all through your blood. Like, yeah. It's um, all through your bloodline, though. Funny How did story. That, like, what happened? <laughs> real, real quick, funny story. When about a week, so I, I, I'm, a, I'm a master manifester. That's what I like to call myself. Like, when I got uh-huh. my eyes set on something, I, I go deep. And I'm like, I'm going to get this, okay? And yes. um, I saw... I was dating somebody and I saw Shantae's Netflix special. It had just come out. And you know, the gays, we love to support the gays. So we was like, yeah. oh. so I put it on and we were watching it. And I was like, damn, she is fine. And ironically, I had never, I mean, I've, I've heard of her, but not really heard of her. Then I started going on her Instagram. I'm like, oh, she fine, fine. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> my that. best friend wound up hitting me up because her, her, her special had just come out. So my best friend hit me up. And was like, hey, why don't you date girls like this? And I was like, no. I know, right? <laughs> and I can't. Where they at? They're not on Tinder, they, girl. I don't know where these, wor- these no. working studs, I don't know where they be at. So she... These working studs? <laughs> I'm dead. So I'm dead. literally, like, the next week, we popped up on each, each other's Twitter. And at first, I was like, she might be a catfish. Tinder. Huh? Tinder. Mm. But I said... Twitter. Oh, t- yeah. Tinder. And I was mm-hmm. like, she might be a catfish, but we're going to find out. So I just act like I didn't know who she was. And I was like, oh, what you do for a living? And she was like, you know, I'm a stand-up comedian actress. I was like, oh, that's cute. But, you know, the whole time I was like, oh. Where? Where? Right? <laughs> like, Hold on. So, you, you, so his picture, her, her picture popped up on Tinder. Uh-huh. And, and, and it was like, you swiped. And then I you just... swiped. And then we match. So that means she has swiped on me too. So I was like, okay. Uh-huh. And that's so, why, and that was um, my last day on Tinder because I, I messaged her and I was like, look, I, I don't want to do the back and forth with the messages. So if you want to link with me, here's my number because I'm deleting my Twitter today. It's, I'm, I mean, Tinder because I'm <laughs> over it. And she was like, all right, cool. And five minutes later, that's so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. And then and then how did, how did the, uh, oh, well, obviously... You she you, you you did your she popped up okay cool so yeah, when yeah, did how was that like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, when y'all, was there ever like any red flags when y'all were in the good talking question, question. moment stage yeah damn I don't know <laughs> yeah. tell yeah. us smart okay, answer first <laughs> yo these dogs okay I'm not a pet person I didn't grow up with pets so my biggest right. thing with the pets is I don't want my house smelling like that because I'm a clean freak so I can't take like you know dogs be outside and then they just get up on your couch like girl so <laughs> when I first met Shantae her her um life-size German Shepherd <laughs> Used to sleep in the bed with her. She said life oh, size. Oh, her dog is 75 pounds and she used to sleep in the bed right with her. My butt. And I was like, oh, this ain't gonna work for Damn, me. That's, like, this, your ass warm. that's nasty. <laughs> but 75 pounds. That is like two times your yeah, dog. Listen, I know. Well, he's still a puppy. She, my dog's home. Oh she my kept God. saying, Oh, she is too she's too old to like, I can't break her out of that. And I was like, Yeah, okay. It took me a week. And she no really? more bad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How did, that, how, did, how, did, how did you like that, Shante? <laughs> well, you know, she came in and, and cleaned me I up regulated. a little bit. <laughs> right, um, you know, right. I thought I was a pretty clean stud. And, you know, uh, as I do recall, I brought this chick to a, to the crib one time. She was like, you need a girlfriend. Yeah. And I was like, damn, uh, can I still <laughs> smash? <laughs> well, I was just, you be bringing girls in here? And she was like, but, yeah, they let me hit it, too. And I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> but, but these are all the things. And and again, like, she didn't have to do it. But I I also, when I met her, maybe a month in, I had this cough that would not go away. And I had this cough for probably four or five months. And mm-hmm. and the other chick that I like would be like, uh-uh, like she thought it was COVID It was COVID time, like so y'all know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. she would nurse me, like, make me baths and stuff like that. It wasn't. It wasn't anything. It was just, uh, I mean, it was something because my throat. But anyway, saying that to say the stuff she came and compromised, but also helped like push stuff out, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Right. So So, you're saying your other girl was like, don't come around me. Uh Uh-uh. You got a cough, right? It was very uncomfortable. And I was giving her eucalyptus like, baths and rub yeah, down. You were trying to heal her. Tea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You were and trying to she, heal. Yeah, she knew how to. I'm, I've been with a lot of girls that, you know, you question 
uh, when you're around the family. You know what I'm saying? Like I've taken those. That used to be my like check dates. I used to bring them premieres and just see what happened. Some of them got yeah. loose, some of them didn't. But even that, I know you're gonna feel excited about meeting the Wayans. I get that. You know what I'm saying? But right. you played your you played your part right, and and you never made me feel like I just had to give give like you was living off of some rich stuff. You you contributed yeah. right. I really love that because I think it's like every girl's dream to marry someone famous and <laughs> and you played it right sis cuz <laughs> I think that a lot of people like my friends growing up who may have been in situations they were just too, they just only wanted one thing. Maybe mm -hmm. they weren't even really into the person. And even if they were, they were definitely more focused on like what they could get out of the person. Even if mm -hmm. they like thought the person was fine or whatever, it's like, but he finna give me this, you know, or maybe right. I can get this from him, you know? So like to come in and be like, okay, I'm lucky enough to be here with you right now. So let me show you what I'm about and that I'm a real woman and I can be a real woman for you. That's dope. Yeah, and we just had it. a good like we just had I want to it, it was like she, we were such a good match because we're both from the East Coast. So dating women here for me was like, oh, you're so aggressive. I'm like aggressive. I'm just from New York. <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> but I can't help it. it. it was, I was so misunderstood. And when she came along, I was like, oh, this is perfect. We got the same humor. We we laugh at the same immature stuff like we. You know, we love right. West Indian food. There was a food. connection. Right. right. Yeah. It was, it was, it's just, it's dope. I like I, I right. it. Yeah, duck sauce and stuff like that. You know what I mean? For the Chinese <laughs> He food. loved duck sauce. Yeah. Oh, man. Why, why ain't no duck sauce yeah, out here? To, we get people to bring the duck sauce from New York uh -huh. here. Wow. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah, no duck have, sauce out here? They don't have duck no sauce duck in duck LA. Not the duck yeah. sauce you get from the Chinese mm -mm. spots. Even the, even the chicken wings is different out here. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, we it's, get it's very. We had somebody, your brother bought oxtails last time? Oh, no, roti. Oh, roti. Oh. Oh, Y'all yeah. eat oh, good are you, are you there. Are you Trinidadian? No, you just, you well, just... my brother is married to, a, my sister-in-law is Bayesian, and her mother's a Bayesian oh, nice. chef. Yeah, roti so. is Indian, babe. No, right. roti is is is, is West Indian. So Jamaica, yeah, uh, Guyanese, Trinidadian, they eat okay. that. Mm -hmm. So are you Caribbean at all? Um, kinda. You trying to go over there and eat? Okay. <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to oh, out the roof. I cook cooks, okay? <laughs> I cook dinner for all the Waynes on Christmas. Oh, the whole sure family. Nice. Sure Me and Marlon. Like, they look like they can eat. I made everything. Marlon made the greens and the yams. You made greens. Okay, and those are important dishes. Yes. yes. Those are very yes. important. You can't mess the greens but or the I yams. I made like up. four pans of oxtails, chicken, shrimp, lasagna, oh, yeah, mac they, and they cheese, love you. rice. They love oh, you. yeah. So they, when y'all text her. together, look, we said what? They text her more than me. <laughs> they text <don't. laughs> Like, hey, just checking on you. How you doing? <laughs> I ain't get one of those. Who the hell? That's yeah. so funny. No, no, no. You make a Chris. <laughs> you make a Christmas dinner. What is what is that night like? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, do do because I, I think I heard you said you're sober. Do do yeah. the other family members drink? Is it like a lot? A lot of people sober. Yeah. Like, what's the dynamic? What is she it drink. like when all y'all get together? Everybody drink for Shantae. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> so being the sober person in the room, I bet you are looking at everybody like y'all are some damn fools. Oh, I, hate I can't them. believe I hate I'm, everybody. I can't believe yep. I'm related to y'all. But wait, uh, how funny is the room on nights like this? It was. Uh, I mean, actually, because I, I didn't get irritated that night. It was really. It's really <laughs> fun because you know they already hyper without the liquor so then you know on right. top of it that's where the spades games hit, kicks in oh yeah and, oh, honey. And you hear people doing jokes in the background or you know uh all just all types of stuff but um do y'all ever have like stand-ups on each other and roast each other <laughs> oh yeah absolutely <laughs> Marlon, Marlon, and my brother and my mom they was going back and forth on my wedding day <laughs> Uh, we was taking pictures, and my mother, my mother flew out here without buying her uh, white outfit. So she went mm. and bought a white outfit, but she, she, um, so whatever was going on with her hair, she went and bought a hat. She had but it the was church, like a church hat. hat. So oh. Marlon was out there just ah, oh, look who's going to church. He, he was just. <laughs> 
doing all this stuff and you just hear laughter and then my brother's like oh yeah marlon have a, a mink life crisis baby that's what you want to do oh, <laughs> you know, just going back and forth while, while, we trying to while take... we're taking pictures right. okay right, right. right. I imagine you like walking down the aisle at this moment okay well, yeah walk, walk us through this this magical moment because easy as, as i get to know you guys more i feel the energy i feel the love yeah i can imagine um and i saw the picture obviously we was following you for some time and um the pictures just look beautiful the energy the love the fam walk us through that moment of, of y'all making it official oh man uh i start i guess i you know you cried. I, I did cry. She cried I, while well, I was beautiful. coming down the aisle. So I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted. I don't really like more so uh, I'm I'm used to being around her a lot. So I, I left on Wednesday. We got married on Saturday. So that was already hard because, mm. you know, I'm, I'm away from her. Uh, right. I met her dad the first night. I mean, the, the for the first time the night before we got married for rehearsal. Wow. Um, so I was like extreme. He was, he was super cool though. And so that kind of lifted some stuff up. I think mm -hmm. Dorn getting ready for the wedding and, and doing that, you feel the nerves build up, right? You want to see her. You want to make sure I, I, I was writing my vows and making sure it was perfected. Oh, God, and the vows. I was just making sure <laughs> that I was, you know, saying, <laughs> saying the right stuff. So I think, <laughs> That's what the nerves were. I wanted to make sure I fully got everything out in this moment and stuff like that. Y'all, her but... vows were four pages. You want to know how long Ooh. mine was? Uh, Mine's was four, four lines. Index. Four she lines. Index. Four. four lines. It was a haiku. I was like, I love you. I'm here forever. Amen. <laughs> and TikTok vows. <laughs> and Shantae whipped out a four-page like, letter. I was like, oh, no. shit. <laughs> Who said the vows first? Me. She did. <laughs> oh, it got you out the way. No, nah, they should have had you do it last. That would have been last. I would have added on some fake stuff. I would have act like I was still reading and just would have been <laughs> off the top. Okay, right. So <laughs> singing a, a singing a song lyrics. <laughs> she also lyrics started song. crying. You know, you were you was crying. She 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 already told me that she didn't even know she wanted to do the vows. Yeah, she didn't know she wanted to speak. But mm. when I found out she wrote vows, I was like, oh, she gonna she gonna come with some hardness. So I need to make sure my game is up. That wasn't the case. That's what, what, <laughs> what was the summary of the, of the four page vows? Well, 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 give us a quick little summary. Man. It was literally like our start to that point of our relationship. Like she talked about everything. And I was like, oh, I thought <laughs> I thought we was just going to be like, I, I'm going to ride or die forever, boo. And that <laughs> <laughs> That's Listen, I, I thought so, too. Yeah, it was just a summary of, of like a little journey and, and what that meant to me. Um, and then the appreciation uh, from the little family we have. But I, I my brother walked me down the aisle. He was also my best man. So uh, and he has, oh. you know, we got our niece who's two years old. So she was she was one of the flower girls, but she stepped out first and she stepped out with Marlon. And then me and my brother, as soon as I hit the carpet, the white carpet, I was just I, I couldn't even I was like, ah. I just, I just, I was crying all the way until we said I do. I was oh not going to mess up my makeup. I just wish I was there. I'm not going to lie. I, <laughs> I am feeling all the love. I, I want to ask you ladies to, before y'all got together, way before this, um, it's Pride Month and, you know, there are people who maybe have not come out yet and are still trying to figure out their journey. Can you guys, can you ladies speak on coming out and how that was for y'all and like, you know, your, um, like how it was for your family and like your transition into like actually living in who you feel that you are? Mm. Sure. Um, well, I didn't. <clears throat> so my coming out story was um, I did an episode of Lala's Full Court Life back in the day. Mm. And I was going on a date with her cousin, who's gay. Okay. Obviously. Oh, I used to love that show. I was yeah. watching it in college. Yeah. It was it was an episode, and my comment on the episode, it, and it was actually the um 
the sound bite for the show for the season, which was I like vaginas, right? <laughs> And Ooh, it it that. played <laughs> and played and played. So if you didn't recognize me the first time, at some point you was gonna be like, "Is that Shay?" And I just got call after call of my family members like, "There's something you want to tell us." And I was like, "Look, girl, you seen what it is." And um, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it was kind of like this always unspoken thing. Like they don't, they never pressed me about it. I had one aunt that would always ask me, "You ain't find you a nice husband." Other than that, right, right. it was just no one ever really said anything directly to me. They, of course, talked amongst themselves, but course, nothing course. was ever said. And I like it that way. You keep the comments to yourself. And mm -hmm. um, I just lived out loud. I, I didn't I didn't hide it, but I'm also not running around with the rainbow flag. Like Shantae, on the other hand, you're going to look at her and know. You know, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> but for me, I That's felt not what like... the fellas at 7-Eleven think. <laughs> what? Oh, me still won't. The fellas at Seven Eleven, you got all. fellas that's, over there. Them Indians you love know when you pull up to the gas station, all the yeah. guys start going crazy. They love it. I know that. I know that. So I know that, that was that my coming out story. It was on television, wow. and it was that is crazy. I feel like I remember, dramatic. I remember that soundbite. That soundbite sounds very familiar. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I like vaginas, and they're like flowers. That was literally the soundbite for the show because they wow. are. They look like flowers, like open. And flowers, but <laughs> what flower? So a tulip? Yeah, you get it? Tulip? Well, <laughs> tulip. Wow. Hey, so, did yeah. you date her cousin for fake on the show in that episode, or what? Did y'all really go on a date? And well, they gave me way too many apple martinis. So by the time it was time for me to sit down with her, she probably was like, this drunk. <laughs> and it was, it just, well, I didn't get picked. <laughs> okay, got it. But you obviously were good for TV because yeah, you used that, that fight over and over and over. So, over so and was, over again. Over. <laughs> My poor daddy. Story, uh, Shante. Mine was, you know, because... Uh, some of my family are Jehovah's Witnesses, so I kind of came right, up right. with that. But I've been gay for a minute. Uh, long story short, my whole family pretty much knew except my mom. Um, mm. <laughs> but when I said it, I said it, my mother was a little just, you know, kind of taken aback because I think even with the whole family, you know, at the time, people just feared what that mean. And I was lucky enough to be an 80s gay because, you know, that or 90s, too, because that's when like the Queen Latifahs and, you know, all, all the girls used to rock uh, baggy clothes. So right, I, right. I kind of, you know, uh, fit, fit, fit in, in mm -hmm. that time. So, um, yeah, I, I came out and, and honestly, nothing really changed. I think people were just worried of, of what that meant, especially during that time. And and when you say worried of what that meant, can you tell us like what they were worried about? Well, so you think of things like like when I first started stand up, and you know I I've always dressed like this, baggy, you know, a hat and fitted in a, a hoodie and stuff like that. So I always dressed like that. But people be, outside of my family used to be like, you should dress like this, and you should do this, mm -hmm. and you should talk about this stuff. And they, you know. The, the mind frame of like, yeah, well, I mean, you could clean up a little bit and and show this and you don't have to show cleavage. But, you know, you see Wanda and you see Ellen and you know what I mean? Like stuff like that. But some people are just afraid for you to be all open and out like we are in 2023 because of because of of, of people. People are crazy people. Yep. You know, I've I've almost fought dudes. I've, I've actually fought two dudes, but. Same. I've gotten into a lot of stuff, wow. especially trying to protect like my girlfriend or something like that, because you're always going to be challenged, especially as a it's, a it's a very similar fear to raising black sons. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And in America and knowing that they are almost always a target. Um, right. And even if 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 that's not the reality of what it is, that's your reality as a mom, as growing up and seeing what what, what it's been. You know, you could live in the best neighborhood and still as a it, it almost seems like the better the neighborhood the more scary you know it could be because it's like you don't belong here yeah so mm -hmm. it's, it's it was like that uh 
being gay growing up for a long time because I've I've had friends and family that had that same fear that was just like it's it's dangerous like yeah, yeah. it's like girl I know that's why yeah. I'm telling you this ain't no choice so mm -hmm. I, I would, right. it'll be a this lot easier a yeah yeah <laughs> right. it'll be a lot easier to just get a boyfriend have a couple of babies and just say it is what it is but that it would never be true for me yeah I would cheat on him yeah. all the time <laughs> and, and, and 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 like I said you know my even though certain people were worried like they were always supportive you know they mm -hmm. they still took me on the road I still got to be on set I still you know there was nothing like ah don't do that or dress different when you come around us it was just you know you have those conversations when it's something new just like the internet people thought then the world was coming because of the internet you know what I mean Right. Yeah, yeah, I remember that in 2000. You yeah, they're that? like, what is yeah, this? Was... This is new. Right. So when y'all came out as straight, <laughs> right. how did the world <laughs> receive <laughs> Now in 2023, that's, that's going to be so the new question. Sure, right? That is, yeah, absolutely. So y'all mentioned also, you know, you could be with a straight, I mean, you could be with a guy and you could be straight and like have his babies or whatever. Is kids something that you two ladies want to have? I think it changes. We, yeah, we we really, really want that was our goal when we first met. Like, all right, girl, you want to have a baby too? Yeah, we both getting old, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And then we had dogs and then we had our niece and we watched them and just see kind of how much work we do in our life and like you know what I mean? I, I don't know. It's it's in and out. I, I've raised <laughs> a lot of children that weren't mine in my lifetime. Yeah. And I'm kind of burnt out. And I, yeah, I and absolutely. I don't think it's selfish. I think it's selfish to feel like I just want a baby, want a baby, want a baby, yeah. knowing that our baby will get yeah. here, and I'd be like, "Girl, I'm tired. You tired?" Yeah. So, because <laughs> I, I know that it's 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 not an easy job, and and yeah. I know that life is already kicking my butt. So we're just like, I am not opposed to adopting. Yeah. And even adopting in a couple of years, and someone a child that's a couple of years of age, so we still kind of on track. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, and yeah. Mama, sure. you can walk. Get in the car but we're so. not super pressed anymore. <laughs> Changes on diaper. Right. We're not super pressed anymore. <laughs> but that's I, real. But again, I had to help with my niece. And it, as as much as I love her, I just go, I don't know if I can do the first three years. I would need a, a nanny. I would need <laughs> a nanny. Yeah, no, the first three years is... is... It's really it's hard. The hardest. Girl. We are, it's a lot. We are year three with one, year one with another, and... Ooh. This man got the nerve to be to coming another up in one. Me. Whoa, 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 whoa! I ain't no birth control. You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't no birth control. See? What do you mean? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you know what? The fuck you mean? What usually happens when you, you know, you know? Well, yeah, if y'all wanna uh, like, we could do a trial, and if y'all have a new baby, we could see if we want it, right? Okay. Yeah, we could hold okay. it. Good we luck. Thirty day guarantee of uh, return. We do a ninety day. We do a ninety we day. We go give. Day we go give yeah. all y'all one go, child go, for ninety go. days, so you can see each stage. Go on that honey for right. first. Okay. <laughs> Go on that honeymoon. Go on that honeymoon. That's to be the probably the first regret you have. Not going on that honeymoon. Now I gotta oh, ask no. this question because my cousin. I gotta shout out to my cousin Mickey, who Mickey. is a lesbian in our family. She is hey, probably Mickey. the hey Nikki. I know hey. she watching because she watches our episodes. <laughs> um, Nikki probably is the only gay person in our family that I can think of, and she's legendary gay. Nikki's been gay since she was. A child and I talk about this because when my mother was alive I'll never forget her Nikki was her favorite uh, niece and she would be like yeah Nikki Nikki's been gay like she tried to have sex with a boy a man once and like it made her sick like she didn't like mm -hmm. it and, and she never liked to wear dresses growing up she always wants to dress like a tomboy she, you put a dress on her and she would get so upset and so she these are the stories that I've heard of Mickey growing up and I wanted to ask um, well, Marche, it seems like you're more like, you know, into your like femininity, mm -hmm. but Shantae, was that the case for you? Like, did you have sex mm -hmm. with a man? How did it go? You know, cause you said you've been gay for a while. So that doesn't mean you've been gay forever. No, no, I've, I've tried and I've, I've tried, uh, you know, I think, I think religion uh, puts a lot of that into you and just the pressure, just the pressure and also just making sure, uh, you know, for me, it was like, let me, let me make sure of this, I guess. 
but I also can't say that I wasn't attracted to men. I love, I love love. I love people. And I think anybody could fall in love. I think the issue comes down to being in that bedroom and then also the type of connection that you have. I had an amazing uh, uh, boyfriend before I left and I, <clears throat> I realized, and I told him, I said, Hey man, like, I love you, but I don't love you in a way that you would need me to love you. And that was, that was the break off for me to officially be in my own lane. But I've, again, I was around the time where I was wearing baggy clothes, but guys used to date that. Um, mm. But I was messing. It's some green eyes, girl. Yeah, I was messing <laughs> girl, with girls. Guy, girl, guys date studs. What you talking about? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but I, I was literally, I would have sex with girls or I, I was, I was, we was in a uh, second, third grade, and I was, I was, a, uh, I was dating this girl Shanika, who had the only big boobies. In, in second in grade, yeah, she was Jamaican. <laughs> she was Jamaican. Girl, I was Shanika. a size B in third grade, so mm-hmm. I believe her. Uh, she uh, had, no, no, she, no, no, no. her breast wasn't as big as her butt, but she was Jamaican, <laughs> and and I just, I've always loved that more. And I didn't really start having sex until later, and I was with a guy for a while, but um. You know, I tried. I tried. And like I said, the bedroom is just, it's not, I, kudos to the women who like the stuff that men do to them. Because <laughs> I'd be feeling like if, if it, w- it would be a murder scene. <laughs> oh, some, some dudes just, y'all just need some training. That's all. So you feel like men are lacking compared to what a woman can hey, give a woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just think, I just mm-hmm. think there's yeah, a lot of, I put it this way. <laughs> like, I, like... <laughs> I'm a person that could be uh, the, what's it called? Uh, submissive person. I was going to say point. top, yeah. bottom. I, I love <laughs> being the top, but I could be a submissive to the point, to a point. And I just, I just don't. You could never, Shantae be trying to play around like, babe, you better stop paying. I'm gonna get this body right and get a man. And I'm like, girl, you <laughs> would not be able to deal with a man. I can't, I can't deal. Yeah, I just, I, I couldn't see myself yeah, doing really. the things she do. And she just be looking at me like, girl. Yeah, I'm like, don't touch my nipple. <laughs> it irritates me. Wow, that's, that's you, funny. you do this Sounds to my familiar. nipple. That makes me want to okay. do it. <laughs> Sound familiar. That's how he is. Yeah, he don't want to touch like his butt, it. his nipples. You said you got a reflex. You, you, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a weird. It feel like somebody doing this to you. Hi, 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 right. hi. <laughs> so <laughs> men, y'all feel like men are lacking in well, bed got, emotion. Bring it back. Well, no, I, I want to. <laughs> you know, I feel well, like this I could just... be a good clip for the internet. You know what I'm saying? Ah! Uh, okay, <laughs> men <suck>. are lacking. <laughs> so let me repeat my question. Oh yeah. Y'all feel like men compared to women are lacking not only in sex, but what about like emotionally? Um, and also let's talk about how a lot of women want their man to pay a hundred percent of stuff. Like, how does it work for y'all as well? Because well, you're a businesswoman too, Marche. Yeah. Well, first question. You I like, yes, yeah, so yeah, you loaded. like the bills. It was loaded. <laughs> loaded okay, first question. <laughs> Very let, much let, loaded. Let, Thank you, Charmaine. <laughs> but um, for the first question, I don't necessarily think that men are lacking. Honestly, yes, I do think that. But I can't speak for all men, right? I can't speak for all <laughs> relationships. Um, but, you know, statistically, women are not being satisfied. And I just feel like it's not worth the trouble for me. Like, it's just not worth it. That's one. But it's just, I'm I'm just overall not attracted to men. I can look at a man and be like, oh, he is fine. But we I, got baby daddies on yeah, the line. Yeah, we got, we got, like, we got oh, secret man. baby daddies. We be like, oh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I could never, like, the dangling thing, that just ain't for me. It's just, wow. it's scary. It's, it's big. I got veins. I, that's not nothing oh. about that. That's, is that's what I me. like about it. I like the it, veins. That's how yeah. my friends feel. And it's, at this mortifying to I'm me. I'm like, if <laughs> if I had to, if I had to see a dingling, it better come with a fat ass. You understand? And it better, <laughs> it better look like they got a BBL. You understand? Oh, <laughs> oh my, my God. God. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sure. I got it in my head. This. Saucy <laughs> Santana popped in my head, okay? Saucy Santana right. got a fat ass, and he I don't know sure about. Too. 
I don't know if that is anyway. That's too saucy for me. Yeah. <laughs> too saucy. <laughs> but yeah. in reference this is to the, so second, the second question, paying for everything. Oh, baby, you fogging up. You are getting hot? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and, and the what? I was just going to say. Well, the, you got the, the Netflix thing. special, so I'm, yeah, I mean, yeah. I would well, definitely I be love, like, you pay for it. The fuck? No, no, no. <laughs> I love to provide, uh, especially when I can. It and, took and, a while for me to allow her to be like, all right, you could pay for it. Because I and when I used to treat you, you didn't you didn't you was like, what are you doing? Yeah, I just listen. I'm saying that she does enough at home that if she's doing that, because, you know, I'm very she she had to get on me sometimes about, you know, could you do the bathroom or do this and do that? And it got to a point she literally said in the argument, mm -hmm. she was like, you I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, I'm doing this and I'm paying half the bills. So I said, mm. I said, like, you know hello. What? I said, you absolutely right. So I said, I'll take that off. Yeah, yeah. What you call? You know, oh, you pay that your, was nice. Yeah, she <laughs> yeah. What? I would, girl. I would be like, okay, I'll cook and clean a little bit more. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and I still help uh, clean up a little bit and stuff like that. But I. <laughs> but but what I'm saying said, is now that you take it too far. Yeah, but I would prefer to do that because not only am I doing outside work and then I got my stand up and doing all that stuff, I do a lot of stuff in home where I got to edit right. and all that stuff. So I my right. mind be so gone, I don't want to look at nothing. And mm -hmm. I get it. I got to yeah. just keep everything in line because that's how my brain works. I need order. So, you know, we just found she has her own room. This is her own studio, her little man cave, schman cave. Schman so cave. she can come in schman here cave. and get out my face. And I just come in here every couple of days to I'll open the windows, make sure it look good in here, take out the trash. It's it's smell like balls. <laughs> but that's beautiful. <laughs> that's a good relationship right there. I love so it. You, you don't... It took a lot of, a, I'm very vocal. If I got something wrong, I, I can't let things fester. I'm like, we got to sit down and have a conversation. My, my dad calls it a tune-up. Oh, that's good. So it's embedded in my mind that relationships need a tune-up every now and then. It's like, that's okay, important. babe, I know last talk we said we was going to compromise on this and we kind of fell off the wagon. So can we get back in the groove? And and literally that has helped us so much. It's just like, all right, mm. cool. It's better than getting in an argument and be like, you ain't doing shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because that's counterproductive. Right, you're like, why you ain't say this last week? Right. <laughs> we was good. <laughs> right. I wasn't thinking about that's it. Important. <laughs> Communication is, is, is a key to successful marriage or any type mm -hmm. of relationship absolutely Keeping it real being direct getting you know trying to solve the problem right away yeah you no know, that's mostly on the femme side i'm saying femme because you know i'm still a female but i yeah. can't say a lot of stuff that i really be wanting to say yes you, know you can I mean? you just gotta have Why? some tag what's going to happen if you do you you know darn well when it's flipped on the other side she could tell me she'd be saying stupid shit. shit she'd be like look at i don't like that wig and i'm like woo. No, no, no. <laughs> what she will tell me, she would literally be like, You going outside like that? Like, oh. uh, you gonna do this and do she will run me down from head to toe. And if I just be like, babe, why you gotta wear that wig? Because you know why? She's on a <laughs> she's on a stage. She's on a stage performing for people. You gotta look a certain mm -hmm. way. I don't gotta look that way. Yes, you do. No, I don't. When your ass in the audience and they go, You the only one that don't like that curly wig. <laughs> and your hair like this. <laughs> your wife. <laughs> I gotta be like, ah, oh, that's that's why I like right there. That's she, the yeah, she in the bathroom right now. I'll let y'all know when she comes back. But you know what's so funny? Hey, if you get on the Great job, baby. You like, down. Go sit down. Right Look, she gonna feel a, a, a different way if you roast her ass on that stage talking about that wig, no? Uh, nah. I'm gonna like, take I that wig off to wear and throw it. That wig. <laughs> well, I only uh, said it about one. That's <laughs> I'll never say what that is, again. You lying. What did y'all think about um uh obviously it was really controversial, but what did y'all think about like Dave Chappelle stand up and people feeling like he was attacking the LGBTQ? Oh, that's plus a good community. question because you're a comedian but, and in the LGBTQ. Stop policing comedians. We need to laugh sometimes. Somebody needs to not give up. Yeah, you know, I, is that is I, that the New York set talking or or is it is it are, are you talking no, from the from the I, listen, I know, right? I I believe that I I think 
I, I love Don't the get canceled from I... your own community, girl. <laughs> that's why I'm about to be Because they correct me, give them back. They be doing that. Let her, let her say what she want to say. <laughs> no, no, no. And, I, and I'll, I'll be truthful and I'll, I'll stand my ground with it. But I, I believe in, you know, everybody's feelings matter. And, you know, in a sense where you, you know, I get depression and I get uh, certain things that lead up to it when you're you're talking about a certain person or community. However, I feel like a lot of the strength that we're missing is to be able to open up a space to be able to talk about these things and laugh about certain things. Some stuff, it doesn't matter whether you're gay or not, is, is harsh, but it still could be funny because it's the truth of some people or some peoples. So I think allowing people to do funny and as long as it's funny, if you're doing something right. funny and it's, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. again, because it's, it's, somebody's an op- it's somebody's an opinion. Uh, Dave Chappelle ain't on stage because everybody hate him. That's that's not what he's doing on stage. And he don't have great shows all the time. He get rough stuff. But there's people who, who believe in what he's saying. So I mm-hmm. just wish we were a little bit more open. Mm-hmm. I do mm-hmm. wish we were a little bit sensitive to certain things. But I, I, I think bullying and all the things that I've come from has made me stronger. And it's also made me able to move maneuver throughout this world. Because I'm joking on everybody, and and if you take it, it like you said, it's just a, it's a lot of sensitivity, and people nowadays in social media, everybody has a voice, right? And li- that voice has left from just kind of the entertainment industry, and now it's everybody can get a word out yeah. there and go viral, and you can have millions of people yeah. um, agreeing with you or disagreeing with you, or whatever have you. But I just feel like lately comedians are just getting policed too much. I don't see anything that was wrong with his set. Um, I I think he's an ally of the community. I think based on um that particular stand up or the last two ones that he did and he got a lot of backlash it's just like some people just want to pick a fight and we know that trolls mm-hmm. exist yeah. and some people just need something to do and something to talk about and I don't think that what a lot of people said in a, against him does not represent the entire gay community yeah. we all yeah. do not feel like that yeah so okay. yeah yeah, because even t- like people were marching out of Netflix, you know what I'm nah, saying? We, yeah. we just saw Dave the other day. He gave us a hug. He gave us a hug. Congratulated he was, us. Yeah, he was on stage. He took the mic, congratulated us. And, you know, he's he, Love that. when you come into my state, let me know. You can come through like every time. His mama see, love you. His mom love me. Every mm-hmm. time I see Dave Chappelle, he's amazing. But I think what people miss is that everybody I, I have a joke about dating a special ed kid in high school. And I did. And um. If you if you find what the, the funny, hell, I, I did. I dated this guy. This guy was so persistent in trying to date me um, that I, you know, on some cute stuff. I was like, yeah, I'll see how you. nice she is. Yeah, I was like, I was that's, like, I think he was dope. fly. He was the flyest special ed dude in in his so class. He was his girlfriend. <laughs> and I was his girlfriend. He would, he would walk me to class, give me the little oh, free money. Uh, that stuff. is. Um, you deserve a Nobel Peace Prize. Right? Thank you. Thank you. But, but yeah. Yeah. and then he cheated on me. <laughs> no. He so, cheated on me. No, he did. He cheated on me with another special ed bitch. And I said, <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, like, this is why y'all like dudes. Uh, but, no, he did it. So he, he, he'd give you the flowers and take you out to dinner. And, he didn't, and, and, he didn't do it. it no, you. he got me free lunch in school, got me out of class he, a little earlier. He got you free lunch. <laughs> Got me. How did he? How did he cheat on you? Sister was cutting the lines. He cheated. I, I he saw got her him. free lunch. He, I saw him with this other chick, and I said, I, "Who is this chick?" And he was like, "Hold on, Shante. Hold on." <laughs> and she was Stop. in the back, and she was like, "Yeah, bitch, I got you, man." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I say this oh joke. Oh my god! I say that I posted this online, and people got upset at me for doing his voice, but that's how he was. And in hindsight, it makes the joke funnier to to it's, say his know, voice. It sets it off. Everybody <laughs> forgot that this special ed dude broke my little heart. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's the issue. And 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 being a stand up comedian now, it's like. Y'all not even hearing the joke or what could be funny. And I'm not even talking about everybody. But yeah. Dave Chappelle, when he said, if, what do you say? If uh, somebody, oh man, he said I somebody got a face, uh, 
a Asian thing and came up and was like, yeah, I identify yeah, yeah. as. Let me tell you something, man. It's Kinda it's the funny. visual. It's the what <laughs> if. It's, it's hilarious. The real, That's uh, the funniest <laughs> stuff. Is the real life. Yeah. Shit. It's the so real book. Make... Oh God, that if we take all that out, funny. comedy would be so lame. It would it's, be so boring. Be no like if you notice, even with the guidelines on what we're supposed to post, everybody's stuff is very, you know. It, it got to be dumbed down and people are going, well, you're not the funny, you're not this, you and you like, this is what I got to give social media. So they don't, so, right. they so definitely don't uh, deleting them. your account. After, they definitely deleting your account after that joke. I, I <laughs> have it up, but I got, I, luckily I have more laughs than more, than the other thing. Yeah, and and people started going like, they are some fine special ed dudes. Those trolls remind me of. You know how you ever argue in a relationship with somebody that you're dating and they don't hear nothing that you said of value. They just pick apart with what they yeah. disagree yeah. with. That's what the trolls be doing. They be like, oh, I didn't like that. Yeah. And, and I'm going to start something against you. I'm going to start a whole campaign against you mm. based because I didn't like your joke. And it's just like, that's what we are. Sit down. Like it. Take some Prozac. Like what you're doing so I can report <laughs> you. And I can post and I can do this and that. People have so much control, it's annoying. Mm. But it, does that make you feel better? Like, especially getting on a Netflix stage, being able to, knowing that Dave Chappelle did the most. So you're safe to do whatever you want to do because he kind of made it safe. Like, you know what I'm saying? As far as with comedy, mm -mm. you know? He's a veteran. He, he's a veteran. I'm mm. always... And he can pass up on some money. He can afford to. <laughs> I, I always say the stuff that I like. You, you know, when, you, when you're in a, a, a cl comedy club and you have an audience and you're able to say a few jokes that might make them laugh and then you say something that might be a little risky, your, your crowd will still have fun with you in that place sometimes. You know what I mean? You'd be like, hey, now, shit, y'all said I could do this joke. Mm -hmm. right, it's a right, little right. different than having to post 30 second or a minute clip and then they don't understand that there's five more minutes of of jokes behind that that's mm. just oh that's how you really feel and you like mm. yo mm -hmm. right yeah Suckers. right so when dave Chappelle does that in the world so many people and corporations and all these people are mad at him you're saying that he can risk not getting some brand promotions that he might would have gotten Versus. Absolutely. And also, we still got to give up our phones when we go to Dave Chappelle shows. Yeah. So he's mm. not, you know, he still know there's certain things that he can't say that can't get out to the public when we go to his show, you know, when he has these shows. So it's just like right. he he still knows that he has to walk on a couple of eggshells and he knows better. But it's a smart thing to do to have people give their phones up. And, right, and, so maybe he could be more risky on stage, right? Yeah, and then and only then, air. And then everyone that's going things. to a Dave yeah, Chappelle show special. now, you got to know what you're getting. So if you go to his show and get offended, girl, you ask for it. Like, yeah, right. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. And there's so many comedians for so many different things. There's a there's a white boy touring. I'm not gonna mention his name because certain things he says, but he he is is actually funny, but he's very risky, and he'll say something, and and I go. If you're going to say something, it better have, it, it just better be funny. Mm. And a lot of times comedians turn jokes as it's onto them, but we also take jokes and it's, it comes from a real place. And then we, we exaggerate it. So it, it, in hindsight, you're supposed to take something small and go, Oh, what if, what if aliens, what if we could add aliens to this joke? What if, what if we could do Marines or, you know, so you start picking, you're going to check the food, come this way. We, we start we start picking things that um, <clears throat> that could be. So sometimes those thoughts become the things that people get mad at. And you're like, I'm just I'm just saying, you know, these are the these are the options. Right. So, you know, she uh, uh, Marche was talking about the you know, we can't we got to stop um, policying the comedians and, and, and restraining the comedians and what they want to say and what they want to do. Do you feel like um chris rock like went too far or will smith went too far and then also like uh, what was like the the family's consensus on like this because i i'm sure there's a lot of jokes flying around but like where did you stand on it where did everybody as a whole stand on it you know was it like a controversial dinner table type of talk or was it kind of like more of like a group chat type of like that shit was crazy and <laughs> moved on 
that nigga no. just slapped that other nigga at the <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it was more on that. You know, half of the family is like a little older, so they got that like, ooh, I can't believe he did that. Um, you know, you don't you don't do that in public and stuff. Right. His ass right. all in the face in the thing. <laughs> I was in here like I, I definitely was like <laughs> Don't be looking at that that woman. Come on, that respectful. Right. Right. <laughs> but no, um, uh, when it when it happened, listen, the New York in me go. If anybody disrespect my wife, I don't care what level I'm at. I'm going to sock them. The issue, what, you know, what I'm saying. But the Word. issue that happened with Will was that he was laughing at first, and then got mad because his wife was right. upset. You could have handled yeah. that differently, but. Again, there's history, there's all these things. And honestly, you know, I'm a little conspiracy theorist, so I feel like it, some of that was planted um, mm. for whatever way, because Will didn't lose that much money. He just can't go to the Oscars that probably he probably would have went to anyway. Um, mm. But family-wise, I mean, you know, Marlon did a whole special on it. You know what I mean? Right. So <laughs> you you got you got that side, but there's just there's just people were more so focused on why did Will go from laughing to doing that? Yeah. Um, as far as Chris Rock, you know, I, I don't want to say too much on Chris Rock because I respect his family. I respect Tony. I respect Jordan. Um, I think if that was my family, I, I would have been just as upset as they were. And on that level, um, I'm not a huge fan of Chris Rock, but um, I'm not mad at what he did. I, 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 I'm not mad at what he did, and I don't know a lot of people talk to Ish about it. What, what he was like a ball head, called a ball head, and she, you know, was sick and stuff. Oh, you talking but about it's like, at the Oscars? I thought you were talking about his special. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the Oscars. How do you feel about what Will reacted to? No, I, like I feel like if you go, if you know they have history, they don't like each other. So if you go after somebody that you don't like, you better prepare for him to walk on stage and smack you. Mm. I, I, and and that again, professionally, you go, don't do that. I, I wouldn't condone it. Who's to say I would, I would have did that, but I would have damn sure uh, went backstage and pinched him. <laughs> <really hard. laughs> Yoked his ass up. Yeah, you, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, there's, there's so many ways to have done that. And Will is an actor. I'm sure he could have held out a little bit more. But I also feel like Will, ever since they came to social media, too much stuff has been exposed. I feel like once you yeah. bring that type of stuff to social media, that's the downfall of your relationship. Yeah, because I kind of feel like Will and Jada were on some like Beyonce and Jay-Z before Instagram. Like, we didn't know too much into mm -hmm. their personal life, kind of like a royal family in a sense. And then like Instagram came out and um, I think Will made his first well, Instagram been out and then yeah. they got on Instagram and Will was like killing it. I mean, his videos were like next level. Like we ain't really seen something like that on Instagram from a actor yeah. and or a comedian. Then Jada got hers. And then we found out, find out about August Alcina and Red Table yeah. Talk. And, mm -hmm. all, you know, then they come out with their book that was just like TMI every day. I'm they're really obviously young. paying blogs to post these crazy headlines about them because these blogs aren't reading this book just to post like right. I feel like they were paying me because every day they were a headline and it was just mm -hmm. these crazy headlines from their book and then the the slap so it but it's also crazy because Will was winning a huge award that night you know if it was staged why pick that night in that moment and then past that you know, he did lose some movies, but like now he like forever has this. I mean, we we gonna always love Will Smith. He's uh -huh. he's still they Fresh took, Prince, but they but they kind of took that image of him off. It's yeah, kind of like sure. you know, there's another celebrity who who painted the perfect picture of his his marriage and his relationship, and then got caught cheating. And th right, this is right. why, as as amazing as she is, and and we talk with love and all that. You talking about Kevin Hart? I don't know who you talk about. Uh, he was but, like my rib, and then the next day we was like, "Whoa!" You you have to be very careful about what you putting out there because people yeah. are imperfect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we exactly. go through our ish. I'm never claiming 
to be the most perfect thing, but it's the perfect thing for us. Um, but that's that's what gets scary, man. You start putting too much out. You start, you know, talking about uh, the the past and and, you know, what y'all do in your bed and all those things is too much because somebody feeling it just it just I just mm. think she did too much with like n- like like Charmaine said, we they were just this power couple, you know what I mean? And and that kind of like we all heard about things that happened between them throughout the years, like what the, whatever they went into. But it was all speculation. But then yeah, once them being swingers and stuff, right. we didn't know the and truth. And it was just right. like we and still listen, the blacks, we were standing by it like, oh, well, if they are, they are. But <laughs> yeah, we love they 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 swing. Right. But once it be, like she said, once it became public and it's like every day you was like demasculating this man and and we had never we seen will smith cry on movies and shows but to see him break down like that and that's like our uncle so it's like girl what you doing to uncle will and then Mm -hmm. it was just like (laughs) for him to just have to 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 do that in support of her because that wasn't his table talk Mm -hmm. that was hers so i feel like as in support I'm like, damn, did you do something that she got to do you like this? Like, what did you do, sir? Mm, Because what? Like, there's no way. I'm like, I'm not doing this. I don't want no. There's a lot of men that would be like, I don't want no parts of it. You know, that's your thing. That's a woman's thing. But I think by her pulling him into it and then like, oh, I didn't want to marry you and I never wanted to get married. It was like, do you remember she got on the breakfast club and was crying about Tupac? Girl, girl, it was it was too much. Yeah. Too much. Yeah, I'm like, let's stand keep, by your man. Yeah, let's keep that all in house. <laughs> even but... uh, even their daughter Willow like <laughs> wrote a letter to Tupac one year and it and posted it on Instagram. But like, you know, we was all like, what the hell? Will yeah. get your kid and your wife like take control of your family? What is going <laughs> on? You know, right? Like, the girl I think they just Tupac needed a little a bit of attention. Yeah, <laughs> and yes. he was out here making Gemini. <laughs> yeah, with the you other <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's the sad thing though man i wish i wish especially just seeing two, two brothers uh not do that publicly you know outside yeah. of the a uh, white audience and you know i I think it hurt it, it hurts because you know the community we building and all the things we want they're just looking for one thing to push mm-hmm. us back further and go this is why we don't do it So I think for those reasons, you know, you go, bro, you can't do that. But, you know, if it was BT Awards, nigga. Oh, hell no. Hell no. (laughs) Best BT Awards ever. No, BT Awards is coming up next weekend. And there better not be none of that. (laughs) I'm going to be like, oh, uh uh-uh, girl, why you you said that? Because look what happened. Yeah. Uh, This was such a great interview. So, so Marche, uh, look. She like you, you, you married her. I know she's funny. All right. So all right. besides her, well, who's the funniest wins? And I'm gonna ask you, Shante, who you think is the funniest? Besides, I think y'all know funny. Who's the funniest? <laughs> to me, it's probably Marlon, and that's only because. He's very um, animated and extra. Yeah, and, like all the rest of them, believe it or not, are super mellow. You know, chill, and yeah, he's always on ten. And I love ten. Like we even have cold words for each other that we could never say in public. That only we could say in the living room. <laughs> so That's she's funny. probably like my favorite and my my most funny to me. That's the only one you hang out with. No, I'm joking. That is probably the only one I hang out with. Like I see them all, but he's like, "That's my dog." Yeah, I would love to be at that dinner meeting. <laughs> For it's the food a good time, girl. Food. The jokes I, don't oh, the, stop. Well, I love good energy, so I already know that that's there. And then, I mean, they didn't hype your food up so much. <laughs> I'm going to be laughing and I'm going to be full. Like, when I leave, it's going to be time to Charmaine, go to bed. Charmaine, it's so yeah, man, good. Go it's almost like it's fake. <laughs> but and it's like, even if the love was fake, I'm, I'll am i take this shit because it's so good. It feels good. It's <laughs> right. like, it's so good. And I, I, I tell her that all the time, like, I would have never expected to marry into a lesbian relationship and have this and much love so and support. Like, right. what? That's, yeah, that's they're, they're very, like, I, I, I can't tell you enough. I'm not saying they didn't like anybody before, but the, the getting her phone number and asking her to come through and 
you know, it's, it's, they it's, miss it's me when lit- I don't come. Yeah, like, I just love them. It's my family. Like, where are you and her? Not like, hey, could you come over by yourself today? And stuff <laughs> like, where's like Marche? That. She ain't with you? Yeah. You came over yeah. here. Yeah. What, what you, know, you do? Yeah. <laughs> the kids, people leave their kids with me. They just yeah. love me watching their kids. So it's just. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice that, that, yeah. That, <laughs> shit. You let me know if we can do that. Shit. Well, before Shantae answers, we can do it. Before Shantae answers, I'm going to throw this out there. We just moved to LA. We ain't got no family out here. I would love to pull up at at one of the holiday oh family God. togethers. Can so you just, rela- can just, you relax? Just remember God us. Damn. And if you want to open <laughs> the invitation, God, we look. we would love to come. I know and, I would. Ignore, ignore the, listen, I want to know your uh your, your who your favorite person is. Who your, I mean your uh the most funniest way is. Yo, it's it's levels, man. It's levels. <laughs> Let, break down the levels. I, right, I need to it. understand. Break down everybody the do see like they got their different type of funny. Mm-hmm. So Sean is He's sneaky funny. He Sean is a <laughs> gym that he don't get a lot of respect for. Mm. He's freaking brilliant. If mm-hmm. I can go there and be like, so I was walking down the street and I had to sneeze, and he would come up with an hour set. He like, was I, it a gay sneeze? And yeah, then just and keep I, going. I, <laughs> to, to the point where it's like you almost I, I have to put on a record. If I'm gonna go over there because he he helps me find jokes that I wasn't even thinking about were there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he's just this hidden gem and he's like, he he won't stop. He just won't stop. <laughs> Maulin is funny. He's he's uh um animated, he's a great ball of fun. He's like your older brother. Um, but y- you you look at him and go, I want that performance level. I like his work ethic and stuff like that. But Marlon is just, Marlon will take a joke and act it out fully. A performance, he is performance man. Damon, <laughs> Damon, you just go, bro, That's where's like your the OG, mind? Like him and you know Keenan, the OG, OGs. Yeah, me. <laughs> like Damon is just, you know, you just go, bro, like I can't believe you. You look at Damon and go, I can't believe he was able to make that funny. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, because I like dark humor. He's, he's yeah, yeah, dark yeah. and he go in. And Keenan, <laughs> Keenan, I remember doing Just a Netflix a thing criminal. and coming through. Right. And he uh, he said, I like that joke. And then he just started saying all this stuff. And I said, I can't do the joke again. It's already shot. <laughs> and I was like, where was you before the special? Where right? was you at? But when I tell you, like, for the... I, and I, Cam, I don't forget Aunt Cam. Oh, oh, Aunt Cam, you just... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kim is is the aunt Goodness. that some you know, like I said, she's she's at a place, you know, she's spiritual and stuff like that. But she has uh Kim Kim is a great time. Kim is mm-hmm. equivalent to Marlon. Um I can with see that. more calmness. Once you get her started, yeah, yeah. but she, once you get her she's started, a good, she's such an auntie. Like she's an auntie. Yeah. Like she's so loving, and you just want to just Rest in her bosoms, like but, she is so but, when she when what? she was on the Mar- uh, the Wayne's brothers when she came in with that character, you could see the <laughs> the similarities between her and Marlon and, and just that explosiveness. But how she was like, she can be calm, like she'll get the jokes yeah. out, and that personality, that wackiness. Kim will and let she, you. Is, was oh, she a writer as well on that? Yeah. I don't I don't know if she was a writer on that, but but Kim, you know, she did a, a one man show. She's I, I, I can't that's why I said there's levels to this because I, I can't say levels. I have a favorite. I just have different moments of my life where I go, this is what they're great at and this is where they're like killing it. You know what I'm saying? Kim, mm-hmm. I go I go hang out with her more than any of them, but oh my gosh. She'll she'll make anything funny. Anything funny. Mm. I know we're. At, I know y'all got the food ready. I got. Oh, yeah, yeah, got I got one. Okay, I what, got one more question. One more question. So your your mother, <laughs> your mother, um, Damn, obviously is, is the siblings. Oh, you. Oh, now before I forget it. Your mother <laughs> obviously is the sister of all the sister of all of these, uh, uh, uh you know, legends as well. Yeah. Um, was she? She wasn't really on camera like that, was she? Or was she like more on the writing side, or like? Yeah. Uh, she tell did. us more about her. her. Moms did a little writing and stuff like that. Um, but my mom, <laughs> you know, some of the family is is like they don't know how to be fake. And I'm not saying that like Keenan and Kim and them are fake. But we but know they, the industry. Yeah, they started <laughs> younger into the game and so they know how to maneuver through the industry. 
my mom mm-hmm. literally we was driving on uh universal studios and uh she was cursing in row rage she cursed out this person in the honda and it was steven spielberg and i'm no. like mom you cursed <laughs> out steven spielberg I it's <laughs> and you that's want? her mama and, and so you know you go ma uh, let, just stay home i'll send you some money okay <laughs> <laughs> not but in my the mother, honda yeah but my mother's brilliant too in so many ways you know my mother's like a natural healer and uh uh really funny and and all those things and, and just very unconditional love and supportive and keeps the family together and stuff like that mm-hmm. nice i might need your mama number because i got some <laughs> things that need to be healed i'm girl i'm I, serious i'm oh, gonna I tell you, you. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna just ask so, you. So later. You not you want to go to the dinner? Now you well, wanna, no, you no. I mean, I do want to go to the dinner. The dinner. Excuse me. We gonna have to go to dinner. I do want to go to the dinner. I ain't fronting on that, but I definitely need a natural healer. I'm going to a holistic doctor right now, okay. and I'll let you know later. Sh- Sh- Shantae, you don't drink, but do you, do you smoke? Do you, 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 you I get do. High I do. On the devil's lettuce. Oh, well, we bringing the weed, baby. Yeah, what? Yeah. Yeah, we make uh some, we have a we company some, called Dro Drink. Yeah, we we make some drink. Mm-hmm. All natural cannabis infused juices. Ooh. Really? Yes, no preservatives. What's the website? Uh, the, you, you just come no here. Website. You get it when you get here. We got hey, you. You, you, you out here. Okay, hustle, hustling. Okay, okay, cool. Now we definitely going to try that. No, y'all sure. got we... this was this was amazing, Charmaine. I've been following your career for years. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. That's years. Okay. That's so funny. Like, yeah, the I'm, I'm different now. Is, the craziest <laughs> thing I Way just different. told Shantae, this party was like two weeks ago. And I was like, babe, this girl, I, I swear to God, I was tearing up, right? And she was like, what are you watching? And I was like, this girl, you know, she got pregnant and then lost her mom. And like, her mom needed to be there for these kids. And then I was yeah. like, then she had a baby that looked just like her mom. I know. And then and then I got pregnant again and lost my dad while I was pregnant. It was oh, just damn. yes, it was yeah. just back to back. Like and the second child was on the same birthday as, as my mom. As mom. It was That's just crazy. Yes. I, yeah. let, let me and when I was you. pregnant with the second child, I like, you know, you can kind of be depressed while you're pregnant. It's not just like postpartum. And I right. wasn't like depressed, but I'm definitely like dealing with a lot and just <laughs> missing my parents, especially during this time where you're growing a child. You really reminisce about your childhood and like mm-hmm. motherhood. And, you know, so I remember sitting in our bedroom in the chair in the corner and I just was like, I don't feel, I was talking to God and I was like, I just don't feel my mom's presence like I used to closer to when she died. Like, I don't feel her at all. And I was like, I really just need a sign. I just really need a sign. Please give me a sign. And then uh, not too long later, um, I my baby wasn't delivering. Like she was just chilling 41 weeks. And the doctor's like, look, I don't want to wait any longer. Um, we can we don't induce people on the weekends, but I got approval to induce you induce you this Saturday. Can we do Saturday? And I was like, yeah, like I guess, like cool. And then I'm like, I go write it down in my calendar, and Saturday was my mom's birthday, a mm. day that they don't even get, they don't even do inductions on the weekend. Mm. And he yeah. and they were like, we just really want to do yours, and we got it approved already. Can you do Saturday? They didn't say the date, and I'm just like, yeah. And then I went in and had my baby. So, That's crazy. That was my sign. That was I don't sign. need it anymore. That signs. was it. I I don't I need any more signs. Man, yeah, th- throughout was the past, that was my grandma with my niece. Like mm-hmm. she passed right wow. before my niece was born. And my dogs and, are tripping. Yeah, no, they they ready to uh, go. But, <laughs> yeah, we but, gonna let y'all go. <laughs> no, no, no. I she she just keep coming in the room looking at us. But I <laughs> I just look at things differently, and and I'm so glad that you at least had to got to experience that and feel that. Um, but that was yeah. so beautiful. But it's so it's just beautiful. full circle that literally less than two weeks later, she was like, you want to go on Charmaine's like, hey, podcast? Gosh, you know, Charmaine. Charmaine. I said, I'm <laughs> <laughs> That <laughs> is nice. Hot pocket on TV yeah. to marry. Pocket. To Girl, marry we kids. We all got okay. And I'm catching up <laughs> now. So she got me watching shows and stuff that I wasn't okay. watching. Oh, God. Season, 
Seasons Go one and four were, were when we were number one on TV, and mm-hmm. you will definitely be entertained the whole time. Season five, it get boring, and it just start going down the drain after Pretty that. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> then I quit, right. girl. You definitely don't want to watch after that. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing to watch. I'm just trying to see who who I gotta learn who I'm uh, inviting over to the crib. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just us, yeah. boo. Yeah, I, I was the most, I was the most <laughs> thorough in that he whole. He was. You'll see. You'll see. I, 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 I You'll be like, like all, all okay, it. she so, was so wild. I was always tender. behind. I was always behind the scenes. You know what I mean? I, I'm so happy to, like, to see y'all still together. Like, yeah, yeah. Y'all know girl, TV. We could have another baby one of these days. Take, take it easy now. Told you you nothing in me, girl. Take it easy, man. Do your part, girl. If, if that happens, I'm definitely getting a vasectomy. There, there ain't no more uh, sneaky babies coming around. Um, <laughs> Hopefully it's a boy. Yeah. But uh, what was that? What we talking Oh, yeah. I was always behind the scenes. You know what I mean? So when I, uh, me and her started dating, you know. Mind uh, you, we went to college together and he smashed all the homes. See, see, you, you, come on. <laughs> we, we, had to, we had to go there. We, we was talking about when, when, we, when we got together, uh, you know, she told me about black and stuff like that and, and, and everything that she got to do. And I'm like, you know, I was like, let me see a contract, man. Let me see what's going on here. Because you, you you know what's really going on was in the contract. And she had this like 50 page slave contract. It was really bad. And I'm like, yeah. oh my God, look, uh, who's your lawyer? I don't have a lawyer. Okay. <laughs> Get this lawyer. I'm like my get, God, get my mom, she's, a, she's an accident attorney. <laughs> I gave, I gave her. A t- <laughs> I got her an attorney. <laughs> attorney immediately told her, "Go tell your bosses you're not showing up to work until we we get this contract together." You know, and I think probably it took about a week, maybe two weeks. It took like a month. <laughs> but she told me, "Don't answer the phone. Don't. They're gonna be calling you. Don't answer the phone." And a month later. You know, she she got the biggest jump of all time for that whole show, <laughs> and they hated me since. So yeah, that you, yeah, you you're yeah. basically seeing the four years of me against a whole uh, <laughs> production company, but you can't even tell because I, yeah. I keep my cool and our storyline stays. You know, is is very thorough, very real. We, we, that's why we started Marriage of Mirage. Oh, one of our lights went out, boo. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> that's why we started Marriage of Mirage. <laughs> Because I see the shadow now. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We almost uh, Great. That's, that's why we started Marriage and Mirage because a lot of these couples in reality TV, they're really mirages. Right. You know I mean? Cause we be interviewing people like Hazel Lee, Delicious, you know, all these legendary reality TV people. Delicious was married to Raymond Santana, Central mm-hmm. Park Five, and Hazel Lee was married to some random 25 year old. Mm-hmm. And but my point is that when they put in this relationship out, you're like, oh my God, they in love, they marry, they having babies. Wow, look, they live in a big house, they look so happy, and then they end up getting a divorce, and then they come on our podcast, and I'll be like, Well, how the hell you get into this marriage? <laughs> like, what the fuck? He said that, like, oh hell no. Yeah, oh, like, and and they be in the wildest situations, they're paying. The female is like paying all the bills and like dressing him up and making buying their own wedding ring. So oh, hell no. the the world can stunt, you know, the world can think they stunting him. It's just really crazy. So yeah. But we really enjoyed this true marriage. Yeah, we need the positive <laughs> marriage stories, the real <laughs> love, generosity, compassion, you know. Everything. People need to see this. And um, and I've been following you because I seen your stand up on my brows. Um, and I always follow, if you're funny, you're funny if, you, if you're talented, I'm gonna follow. I feel like, cause Damn. I wasn't doing that a lot. Now I follow 4,000 people cause I don't right. follow a lot of talented people. <laughs> and you was one of them. And I showed you, I, I've been showing you Shar, uh, I've been showing your, your stand up to her. And as soon as I seen that picture, I'm like, cause I, I, I ain't never seen no picture. I ain't yeah. seen no, I ain't even know his relationship. <laughs> and I saw you got married. I was like, oh nah. Send that DM. Send that DM. Yeah, we gotta yeah. get them on a pod. Send that DM. Marche, I'm gonna follow you too, sis. Yeah. Yes, sis. I'm, we friends now. And yeah, we're, we all live it. in LA. Come yeah. on, and if y'all want some kids, kids, yep, I'm gonna drop them <laughs> off, baby. I'm leaving. We, no. got, we got some characters. We got some yeah, characters. Yeah, our kids, right. y'all yeah. are gonna be like, what the? 
They no, really, that's, that, that's that natural we breath control. We already got a playmate for her. She yeah. already got a playmate. Yeah. So, girl, I'm serious okay. about that. Get ready to kid. Well, no, so, I would love to link up. I love y'all's energy. Y'all we got, are we gotta cool add you in the, We got to add you in the group chat. You, cool you ain't people. in the group chat. Yeah, we're going to have to put you in the group chat, Marche. <laughs> I, I, I vibe off energy. Like, I don't care who you are, where you come from. I just left a contract that, you know, I realized, like, no amount of money not all money is good money. Right. Mm -hmm. So like when you <clears throat> realize something like that and you turn down money because you stand on your morals, you know, that comes with so many things. You don't want people that would drain your energy around or like negative people or, you know, so I'm all about energy and I yeah. really enjoyed y'all okay. tonight. Same here. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. We enjoyed y'all too. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And anytime, yeah. let us know. Oh, for sure. I'm trying to come yeah. to a stand up. I'm trying oh, to... yeah. Any any shows in yeah, LA, let please let us know. We oh, I'm in here. Come. But let y'all know when all the Papa shows is happening so y'all can come be my date while she on stage. We will get a babysitter. We are in there. Okay. Right. We cannot wait to support y'all. Yes. Got you. Y'all have a great night. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You. Thank you. See you guys. See Bye. you later. <laughs> <laughs> Bye -bye.